I'm Dr. B, and this is the third video in the three-part detoxification series. In part one, you learned about the toxins in the environment and the impact they have on health. Part two gave you practical ideas of where these toxins were and how you can avoid them. In this final part three, you're going to learn seven ways of how you can reduce the toxins in your environment and your life. Let's dive in. Here are a few things you can do to get rid of toxic waste. One, get seven to nine hours of uninterrupted sleep. Good sleep is so important in the repair and mobilization of cellular toxic wastes. Not getting enough restful sleep impairs your ability to restore your cells and weakens your immune system. It's best to sleep in a darkened room with temperatures on the cooler side. Avoid eating after 8 p.m. Keep mobile devices in another room, shut down your Wi-Fi, and use a battery alarm clock instead of an LED clock near your head. Purify indoor air and deep breathe through your nose. Toxins are everywhere, but they can be hazardous and grow out of control in your home and workplace from mold, smoke, pet dander, solvents, and other pollutants. HEPA filters help remove particles, allergens, and possibly mold spores. Activated carbon filters out VOCs, which are volatile organic compounds. There are many different house plants that can help to purify the air. Leafy green plants placed in every room can filter out certain harmful compounds in the air and make it much healthier to breathe. Number three, ensure good gut health. All organs of elimination should be well-functioning in order for a detox to be effective. The entire gut is so important, not only for eliminating toxic waste, but also for having a major role in your immune system. Adding fiber, probiotics, digestive enzymes, and non-GMO organic food should help you have one to three bowel movements a day. Work with a nutritionist for more guidance in menu planning, emphasizing plant-based meals, and supplements for depleted nutrients in the diet. Number four, filter your tap water and drink filtered or purified water throughout the day. A general rule is half your body weight in ounces, so a woman weighing 130 pounds would need 65 ounces of water. Two glasses of water first thing in the morning with an ounce of aloe vera juice and the juice of half of a lemon can be cleansing from nighttime repairs as well as alkalinizing. Number five, sweat it out. Sweating stimulates adipose tissues so that toxins stored in fat loosen up for release and elimination. For general toxin elimination, and especially when on a weight loss program, exercise and saunas help you eliminate toxins through your skin. A cold water shower afterwards closes pores and prevents toxins from reabsorbing into your body. Check with your healthcare professional for the appropriateness of the modalities and the monitoring of your overall health. Number six, make positive changes in your mental, emotional, and spiritual state. Eliminate in your life things that no longer serve you. Clear out the clutter in your home, car, and work environment. Reevaluate your relationships with toxic people. Stay away from upsetting news on TV or social media. Remember to always have gratitude. Take time to relax, diffuse, and be mindful with walks in nature, meditation, yoga, music, and hobbies. Number seven, get a massage. There are many types of massage therapies which support detoxification by stimulating lymphatic and blood circulation. Some specialize in lymphatic drainage and myofascial release. Remember to hydrate with pure water before and after your session. Well, there you have it. In part one, you learned that there are toxins in the environment and their health impacts are real. In part two, you learned how to curb your toxic exposures. This video provided you with ways to reduce the environmental exposures in your life. For health promoting changes, always check with your healthcare provider to monitor you for detoxification. So remember to like us, subscribe, pass this on to your friends and family. Ciao, take care, be well. Thank you.